Hi there, Nicole Minder, licensed esthetician owner of Savvy Skin Spa, and today let's talk about chemical peel versus nanotechnology. So essentially they could accomplish the same result, but the setup is completely different. Meaning for a chemical peel, you come in, um, we apply it to the surface of the skin. Prior to your appointment, you're going to discontinue the use of any uh, prescription, uh, topical skincare, uh, retinols, retin-A, different, um, Tazerac, glycolic, um, the, light, the list goes on and on. So anything that you're using that is going to be drying will ultimately affect your results for the chemical peel. So we do have you discontinue that um, at least, we'll say three to four days prior to coming in. With the nano, we really don't have, um, it doesn't interfere with the service as much. So the nano, we are essentially using a uh, device that has a disposable tip, and the tip essentially looks like a tiny little computer chip, we'll say. And what it does is I will apply um, peptides and hyaluronic, um, anti-aging serums and I'll actually do a pattern and the pattern um, is all over the entire face and then I will also focus on areas of concern meaning like the lips any acne scars and around the eyes and um, then we'll do a mask and we'll do LED but you essentially have zero downtime with the nanotechnology we do it in a series it's a series of four the first three visits are spaced one week apart. The fourth one we can bump out farther if we would like. Um, you don't have any downtime. You can continue on with your daily activities. Obviously, whenever you come in for a facial, you're not gonna go work out or go surfing or anything like that immediately after your service. But you could put makeup on and your makeup's gonna go on amazing. Um, you're gonna leave looking good, hydrated, but you will actually continue to get results as the day goes on because we did the red light in, in addition to doing the nano service. The nano service is something that I typically will do on, or I see the clients that do this um, are sometimes new to skincare um, and they're looking to take more baby steps or they're looking for something that doesn't interfere with their lifestyle. So with the chemical peel, as I mentioned previously, you do have stricter guidelines entering the service, meaning you do wanna discontinue the use of any um, active products. Uh, the day that you have the service, we apply a solution to the surface of the skin. We also do the red light simultaneously at the same time so that we can allow the solution to penetrate, penetrate one to two millimeters further into the skin and reduce any inflammation simultaneously at the same time. And so with that, we may do a time period. So the solution may stay on the skin for 10 minutes, depending on what I'm using, or it may stay on for 20 minutes. We remove it and then we will apply more solutions afterwards. Typically, you're not going to wash your face that day, so you're not going to be putting makeup on immediately after. You're definitely not going to be working out or going surfing, and typically I will ask that you don't do that for at least 24 hours because your skin will be a little bit on the dry side and we don't want to increase the body temperature. So after that appointment, we'll say maybe three to four days after, you may see some light flaking depending on what we used on your skin. So you will have a little bit of downtime. If you do are going to an event, we obviously wouldn't do that service. We can totally do the nano right before an event. And I actually do do that on myself when I do have events that I'm going to and I have a li limited amount of time on services that I perform on myself. So if I'm in a hurry, I will do the nano because I know 100% I'm gonna get a great result and I'm gonna show up with just really um, bright, glowy, healthy skin. So chemical peel versus nano. Chemical peel is going to be more of an advanced treatment with downtime and it actually is a cheaper route to go um, because they typically will run $175 where your um, nano is done in a series. One is not gonna get you the results, so I, I typically don't even just do one. I do a series on individuals or they come in for the facial. That is great for somebody who doesn't want any downtime, who wants to be able to see results quickly, work on hydration, and especially around the eyes. So thank you for listening. There you have it, chemical peel versus nano.